I'm fine, sir. How about you? Yes, I'm also doing good. Thank you. Uh, Sujal, I saw your profile for the position of data analyst. So, Sujal, uh, can you please walk me through your profile once? Sure, sir, sir. My name is Sujal. And I have completed my BCom from Delhi University in 2022. Okay. And then I started as working in a and then see that name of Concentrix for 1.5 years. Mm -hmm. Then my friend's brother suggested me to go with the data analyst things because I am from the BCom background and I know all the economics things and I know the how to work on the data. So he told me to work on around one month and see are you interested in that? Then I used to that, that thing and I dive in the data and data science field. Okay. Then I do everything from the uh, open source thing just like uh, YouTube and your channel and uh, all that thing and I completed that thing. Okay. So you are one of our subscribers. Okay. Yes, yes. okay, super. So, uh, Sujal, uh, okay. So in your time while you were working, while you were associated with Concentrix, so what were your roles and responsibility was there? Yes, uh, just like uh, we, our but our team was handling the Australian Museum region mm -hmm. about their food orders from the Uber Eats apps on just like we handle their query related to their orders it's like sometimes they want to cancel they did not mean to order that on and the longer concern the delivery person taking so much time in that thing so I will handle that type of concern and they refund as per the company policy if they need it or not and sometimes I have to execute to the email team if it's not a live order. So what do you think Sujal is your strength and weakness? Yes, my, my strength is just like I am an honest person, whatever I just like things I will use with the integrity and just like uh, I will speak truly I am a punctual person. I know the what is the meaning of just like what is the value of time. If I respect time so Time will be respect me and as well as and my weakness is just like I can't say no easily to my team leader and that thing. So it's just like it give me some backward man. I'm doing the some important work and my team leader said you have to do that thing. So I have to do that things and so it some give me some time back. And I'm slowly slowly I started say to no when it's not necessary to say yes. Okay. So. I mean, hesitating to say a no, I would think that it would hamper your work-life balance, right? Yes, it's, it's maybe because when I am doing an important business, like I am handling the customer and all that thing, because I have to do a multitasking. I have to uh, handle the two customer at the one moment. Mm -hmm. And in that time, our team leader or the, my SME said to me, you have to do that things also. So it may be something uh, impact on my work also. Okay. So, Sujit, uh, as you know that you are applying for the position of data analyst. So, what do you understand by a data analyst? Who are data analysts? Okay, data analyst is that a person who communicates with the data. Just okay. like get an insight from that. Just like first step, there is the clean the data and remove the null values, unwanted things, the spatial characters, and unwanted column that not needed for the client side. And make a good dashboard, just like make a dashboard, interactive dashboard, and make it simple so everyone can see that things and the company progress, progress and all that. Okay. So, do they work with the historical data or data? I mean, do data analysts work on historical data? Yes, yeah, because the data analysts do the predictive not not a pretty uh, descriptive data only so it may be a historical data categorical data so it's used for the historical data for us mm -hmm. so what are text stacks are you familiar with sujan text what text stacks i mean uh, what are tools are you familiar with? yeah i will i will tell me familiar with the power bi sql sql and Excel. Okay. Well, so uh, how would you rate yourself, Sujal, for uh, SQL on a scale of 10? Uh, I will rate 7.5 out of 10. Okay. Super. 
so let's get in okay so uh sunjal uh tell me what is the difference between union and union all operators yes union union all work just like combining the data which is like a combining the two tables but union is remove the duplicate values they use the distinct so, so what do you think yes uh, what do you think which one is faster uh, the faster one is union sure uh, No, no, sorry, this is my bad. It's like a union all is combining the mm -hmm. data mm -hmm. with the uh, unique values, but mm -hmm. the union is combining with the, just like uh, unwanted and a duplicate values. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. So my question is still pending. I mean, I asked you which one is more fast. More fast is uh, union all. Okay. Okay. Sorry, union all. Union all. Okay, okay, fine. So, um, so yeah, my next question is how do you use SQL views? Yeah. And uh, what are some benefits? Can you please relate me some benefits of using them? Uh, uh, how we use are used for just like viewing the report that means. Okay, I asked you what, uh, what, uh, how do you use SQL views? And what are some benefits of using them? That I can't follow. Okay, okay. Not So, uh, so you just let me know uh, uh, the concepts of SQL data types and uh, if possible, can you please provide me with some examples? Okay, data types, some of the numerical data types. And... Uh, One second. Yes, please. Take your time. Okay, so in the SQL, there is a three types of data types. Some are integer, decimal, and float. Uh, and just like uh, when we go with the string, that means it's come with the where care and care. And the uh, integer one, there is the float. That means we, when we have to uh, store in the data with the decimal things. And and uh, one more thing is date and time. When we have to use the date, date stamp, all that things. Have you used money? Money is a currency, I think. I don't know. Oh, oh, fine. Just asking. No worries. No worries. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, so um, just tell me, uh, how do you implement paginations in SQL queries to retrieve um a subset of records? Sir, I know how to retrieve data, but I don't okay. use the... Just, just let me know how to retrieve a data by using what? So, I use the select, select query, mm -hmm. and uh, just that with the from whatever the table names, the example for there is an employee, and then we use to do, uh, with the where, if there is some condition, that means, and then uh, if I want to group by with the any department name and that means, after that, uh, there is a sorting thing we used by the order thing. There is ascending and descending. And uh, at the end, we use the limit thing. If I want a limit, this like a top 5 and top 10. So I use, use limit 10 and 10, 5. five. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, so, uh, Sujal, uh, coming back to Power BI, uh, let me know, I mean, how proficient are you in Power BI? I am proud. I will give my 6.5 out of 10. Okay. So, yeah, so my first question for Power BI is like, uh, how do you implement row level security in Power BI service and what are some considerations for doing so? Okay. 
role our security is for that this type when we are doing a global work on a global way data okay so the client want just like the we can say the um, slicing that thing so just mm -hmm. like if okay. in the europe thing so he will be see the only europe data and the other thing just like a person who is seeing with the asian thing asian data so he will use only a asian just like on this thing he will see the asian data so uh, is uh, what you said is like uh, restricting some somewhere some up to some yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay so uh, so uh, explain the purpose of power bi composite models and how they differ from regular models so sir, models in the visuals. Sorry? You can say the visuals, uh, the difference between the Excel and the Power BI. No, no, no. I, I asked you what are the purpose of Power BI composite models and how they differ from regular models. Sir, I don't, I don't recall that. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, Sujal, uh, how do you use Power BI incremental refresh feature and what are its benefits? Sir. Uh, just like I'm a little bit confused in that, so uh, I, I don't know how okay, to okay, okay. Up. No worries, no worries. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, my next question is How do you use Power BI AI visuals such as key influencer and decomposition tree? Okay, so just like the KPIs that you said, mm -hmm. uh, the KPIs is for just like uh, giving a target and see the, the company performance upscaling or not. Mm -hmm. performance Upscaling, so we set a target in that just like uh, we get a sales of a 4.5 million, but our target is 5 million. So the KPI show the red, red sign and the downside, mm -hmm. and uh, the demons just like a three, three chart is just like that. So it shows the size of uh, any category, category, category data, just like uh, how much is taking at um, size if the number of Mm, size is bigger so the value is bigger and the the size is low it means the values uh, it will be depending on the data so till my last question okay uh, can you explain the purpose of power bi analyze uh, huh, power bi's analyze in excel feature and uh, how do you use it to connect with the power bi data set Power BI data sets. Uh, just like I didn't do that thing. Just like I used to what I'm doing, I use the CSV file in a Power BI and that thing by importing the data, by use to get data and go with that and do my cleaning part, PDF part, and that things. Okay. With the help of query, right. Power Query. So I hope you are, uh, I mean, you were working on Excel as well, correct? Yes, yes. So what are the commonly most used functions you did in Excel? Yes, the power. in the Excel, I used uh, the aggregate function, just like a min max uh, for calculating the percentage in that thing. And uh, one of that, the lookup X lookup I used. Okay, so coming to me, look up. Yes, 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 please yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Using that means, like, if I want to find uh, some particular name of an employee mm -hmm. and their details, so I use a look up. It depends on the data, it's uh, I use the vertically or the horizontally. Okay. That means. Okay. So, uh, how would you use the VLOOKUP function? Uh, Sujal? can you please uh, let me know the syntax? Yes. I just like a is equal to V lookup and the lookup value, whatever I do. So like I selected the employee name mm -hmm. and that uh, then I selected the what value I want to find. 
just like I want to the employee salary column. So I select the all over the salary column. Then I want a false value and a true value. I go with the zero. That's the true value, whatever I need. Just like a uh, perfect match. So I find it. So coming back, uh, let's say, uh, I mean, you would, uh, I'm telling you to use if function in Excel. So how would you do that? If function is easily just like when we have to make a beans like a category thing, just like there is some age, age, and I want to divide it into the four parts, just like a adult, a teenagers. Okay. And the uh, senior citizens. So I use the if function. In that if function, is like a if I that missing like I use is equal to if uh, that select that the age if is more than eight eighteen, it's the adult, and that's all that I divided into the parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. So, uh, what is the difference between count if and sum if? Yeah, count if. Uh, what count if and sum if. Yes, count if just like uh, if I want to a particular area and a, a category that is like I want to sum it the M the sales. So I will sum all all over the M the select that things and execute that. And thus, count it. I know that, but okay, okay. not actually. I'm not, I'm not okay. feeling feel near that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, so, yeah, uh, how do you remove duplicates from a data set in Excel? Yes, you can move the data set uh, to use the remove duplicates function, it's useful to. Uh, it's what we can do the button we use in that and remove the duplicates. So we go with the uh, data data tab and there is a button uh, in the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Remove duplicates and remove the duplicates. Okay. And how do you use conditional formatting in Excel? Yes, conditional formatting uh, just like the conditional formatting we go with the data. Then in the data, there is a format of a condition formatting in the ribbon. Uh, we can use the different different colors if I want to like, uh, give an example. Uh, there is a CSAT data customer satisfaction rating. If the blow of three, it, uh, it will be red and the other one is a green. So I use the color and select all the things and make it comfortable. Have you ever used index match? No, I don't use index match. I hear out that say that it's similar like a we look up an Excel cup, okay. which when we go with the we went we were found the index number and the matching values. Okay. But I don't use that. Okay. So Suchan, my uh, question to you is uh, like how to stay updated uh, in this field? I mean data analytics field. Uh, right now, just like I am working on a data day by day, just like I use the Kaggle, the website when we use the Apart from Kaggle? I use the GitHub. GitHub. GitHub also, just like uh, on the LinkedIn, someone use the project, just like a post the project. So I will go with the, his GitHub account and get uh, that uh, data resource that thing and make it make a similar thing. Okay, it will be make me more that thing. if I just like I lacking somewhere, so I ask that person how do you do that thing. Fine. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm I'm done from my end. Okay. So the HR team will again get back to you. Okay, with your feedback. Thank you, sir, uh, thank you for joining today's podcast. Have a great day. Thank you.